Hey guys, Jeremy here, RC Collaborative. Today I want to show you some tips and tricks when installing an ESC and servo on your Mugen Eco Buggy. Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'm gonna do it all for you. Come along and see it's true, but the world is pretty cold, you might need a sweater too. So, uh, I'm on some of the forums on Facebook or some of the groups and the forums and I see this question come up from time to time so I thought this would be a good time to make a video for this um, there's people that are trying to deal with this rubber grommet on the on the radio box here um, now as you can see all of my wires are ran in the grommet and all of my connectors are on the other side um, so I want to show you how I do that and how I, how I get past that issue and it's really not that big of a deal. So this ESC needs to come off. So I've got the wire for that here. And all you do is take an X-Acto knife and get it under the plastic tab. Like that, and you pull on that one wire. So I'm gonna do the next one. And you, this is depinning the connector. All right, so I'll put that aside, and then I can just pull these wires straight out of the grommet, and boom! So the ESC is now free of the radio box. And then when you're going back the other direction, it's easy just to kind of take them, pinch and push, and you can feed them through like so and you can pull the wires right back through. So uh, easy access back and through the grommet. I've seen other people suggest cutting a slit in the grommet, which I guess would be a lot easier, but I don't think it would seal as good. Um, and I think it wouldn't have as good as protection. So I like all of my stuff going completely through the grommet. <clears throat> now, same thing applies for your MyLapse and your servo. Anything you need to get through, you can depin it the same way. And when you're looking at the connector, it goes white, red, black, like so. So you can put the connector back on. Now the other tip I wanted to show you is while you've got your servos or your speed controller out of your car, I like to put heat shrink on the wires because they go under the radio box here and I don't want uh, any of my wires getting chewed through so that's the other thing just take a bunch of sections of heat shrink and heat them on there and when you're running your wires if the heat shrink seems stiff or is giving you trouble to bend the direction you want take a heat gun and just warm the wire uh, the wire and the heat shrink up a bit and it will become flexible then you can move it to wherever you'd like and um, I usually use a zip tie on my ESC with double sided tape. There you go. And that's an ESC off. So I will do what I need to do with this. And when I put it back together, I will put fresh uh, double sided tape put another zip tie on it and I make sure my heat shrinks on there and I run everything through the grommet and I'll feel nice and good about my wires being safe and protected and they're not going to rub through something and cause me an issue. So um, hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, let me know. Put your comments below. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. Um, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, comment below. Uh, please let me know if the videos helped you, what you would like to see in the next videos, and if there's anything we can do to make the quality of the videos better for you, that would be great. Um, if you're a vendor and you'd like to send me something to review, uh, product review, or would like to sponsor me for racing, uh, my email is just down here. Send me an email, we'll work it out. Um, other than that, collab on, guys.